So the shielding group started when I worked in the um, organisation development team over at BWC um, and through the pandemic uh, we knew that obviously our frontline staff were working but we had a staff group, um, the shielders, that just had to stay at home because of yeah, their health conditions and so forth. So I decided to set up a group um, just to connect them all and just bring them all together. So the Shielders would say that it's been life changing for them to be able to connect with colleagues um, who were going through similar difficulties, but really actually sharing what their journeys had been like um, throughout the pandemic. You know, we talk about you know, the BW spirit. That's what it was, being able to connect with each other, share stories of hope, of despair, of loneliness, of powerless, and to be able to see, see themselves throughout um, lockdown and continue. And so the Shielders still meet weekly and they still connect via uh, a WhatsApp group. And I think that's, that says it all, that actually they still continue um, to yeah, connect with one another. They've shown care and compassion towards one another. Um, they've shown that actually that people can connect from one team, irrespective of where you work in BWC. But they've shown that actually the care and the warmth to patients um, in, in this support group, that actually they miss their patients, they miss working, um, they miss connecting with their teams, and they miss working with their team as well. So I just want to get everybody's names in because I think each and every one of them has just yeah, committed to the shielding group and making a difference to one another. So Jane Whitehouse, um, Emma Devine, Sharon Willits, Leanne Taylor, Veronique Spiteri, Deb, um, Deborah Smith, Suzanne Morris, um, Lisa Cooper-Charles, Azra Jayani and Douglas Segal. So yeah, just a big thank you. I've, I've learned so much. And actually they've now become friends as well. So we've all connected and we all hope to have a, a little coffee date at some point just to really connect with one another.